Hey and welcome to this tutorial on urban network analysis. So this is the fourth tutorial showing how to import building points into Runner 6 from OpenStreetMaps using gra the Grasshopper plugin Elk. So we'll start with the file that we set up in our last tutorial that has the networks from OSM. And um, what we want to do is we want to use Grasshopper again. So we go to Tools and Grasshopper. So we'll be using Elk again, and this time we'll be trying to get the um, the address locations or the building locations within Dandenong. So if we go to Elk2 and select location, put that in, and then double click and write um, file. So we want to get our file path again. Like the last tutorial, um, we want to link this to the um, to the OSM file we downloaded from OpenStreetMaps. So if you want to learn how to do that, go back to the last tutorial that I've done. Um, so we select one existing file and we choose that OSM file that we, um, that we found and that should link it into the Grasshopper. So next we want to connect the two by clicking and holding and dragging. And it just takes a little while for that to load all the data. So our next step, um, is to go to the drop down menu on ELK2 and select OSM data this time. So we'll click into the um, window and then what we want to do is um, connect OSM point data to OSM point data and OSM data to OSM data text. And again, this takes a little time to load because it's loading all the data. So that's um, connected. And the next thing we want to do um, is double click and write point. So we want to actually have all of the addresses in the file as points. Um, so you can see as when we set up the OSM data that all of the um, building data has gone into Rhino, but again, we can't select any of this. So we have to put it into a, um, an actual way of using it in Rhino. So that's using this point um, selection. So we'll select the ways to the point, and now we can see that they're in green. Um, so the last thing we want to do, um, we might go to our layers in Rhino and rename this as buildings. Um, an important thing that I haven't covered is in the OSM data, if you right click in the middle, you can actually select the feature type. So we've got building selected. Um, there's actual other things that you can select. I wonder if that is showing up, um, such as public transport and railway. Um, so we're only using the building selection, but there's other things that it can actually be used for. So I'll click out of that again. So if we click on our points, you can see they are all selected in green. Sorry. Um, they're all selected in green. And what we want to do is right click, bake, and we want to select the building layer and OK. So this then means we can go in and we can actually select our building points in Rhino. So that's all we need Grasshopper for. So we'll go File and Save Document and give it a name. And save it. And we can close Grasshopper. So now you can see that all of our points are actually in our Rhino file and that is set up for the urban network analysis. Now there's a few other ways that you can um, import your building points. Um, I found that when I went to use this for Armadale, all of the building points haven't actually been mapped in OpenStreetMaps. So um, you can either, um, most suburbs in Melbourne have address um, open data sources where you can download the points from, which is where I got mine from. Um, but if you're doing a more, um, a more inner city location, such as the Melbourne CBD, then all of your um, buildings should be modeled in OpenStreetMaps. Right, that's all it is for today. Remember that you can right click, uh, you can click on here to change the color 
of your address points. So we might go to red so that we can see them more easily. Um, and that's it for this tutorial. So check out some of my other tutorials um, to see how, either how to set up urban networks analysis in other ways or how to actually use the analysis which is coming next.